Hi there. I'm here on site at Electronica 2024. And joining me today are Magnus Gerwood, Head of Sales and Business Development, and Michael Rosenhead, Head of Product Management at Akineer. We're going to be talking about Akineer's radar technology, looking more specifically at the different applications it benefits, customer stories, and what's coming next from Akineer. Thank you both for being here. Can you start by giving an introduction to yourselves? Absolutely. So uh, I'm Magnus Gervard. I'm uh, uh, working as a sales director based in Sweden. I've been in the company for around seven years since we released the first product. And uh, Michael Rosenhead, uh, product manager. Uh, I've been working at Aconair uh, eight years. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that. And can you quickly introduce Aconair? Yes, so Aconir is a Swedish uh, semiconductor company. Uh, we're providing a radar solution with uh, a very unique technology. So uh, it enables extremely low power consumption, but still high accuracy. And let's dive straight into it. Let's talk about your radar technology. What makes it unique? Uh, we are Pulse system, um, and uh, we have a fully integrated radar system with integrated antennas and very small footprint uh, and uh, that makes it easy for integration so yes and following on from that what is a pulsed coherent radar could you talk a little bit about the technology itself yes uh, what we mean by pulsed current radar is our radar as i mentioned is uh, based in pulse system so we are sending uh, very small uh, pulses picosecond pulses and uh, the returning a signal uh, that includes both amplitude and phase information. And with the phase information, we can uh, then detect very small movements uh, and uh, yeah, small movements like speed, etc. Uh, yes, so that is that is the definition of current radar. Yes. Sure. And what kind of applications are, is your radar sensor used for and what are the, the key advantages? Yeah, there are, there are many use cases that you can use it for. Uh, basically, it, it radiates the, uh, the power and it bounces on different objects. So you get distance, you get how things are moving, you get the velocity of multiple objects. And that can be used for, for example, uh, detecting level in, uh, in tanks when you see the liquid. It can be uh, used to detect cars in, in a parking lot. Uh, it can also be used, since it's so sensitive for small motions, you can use it to detect people. So even if you're sitting still, there's motion from breathing, etc. Uh, it can even pick up the, the heart rate and, uh, and the breathing rate. So that's a pretty wide range of applications, which is really cool to hear. Um, let's dig into uh, tanks and level measurement, which you just highlighted. What are the benefits of using radar sensors there? Uh, it's about uh, contactless uh, measurement. So uh, uh, we radiate through plastic, and uh, if you have an IBC tank, for example, of plastic, uh, you can have a very easy integration. We radiate through the plastic, and it's contactless, and we have very good accuracy. And uh, due to that, we are pulsed uh, very low uh, power consumption as well. So. And what about? And, and we can also detect. Uh, different types of liquid and of course solid materials as well yes and what about human detection and, and interaction can you guys talk about that use case uh, so we're talking about presence detection uh, yes uh, as what, what we say is that uh, we we have a true presence uh, that means that we can detect um, very small small movements uh, meaning that we can uh, detect a person sitting still in a chair or sleeping, for example. Uh, we can also, with, presence, uh, with our presence detection, also set uh, the range window. So uh, due to the fact that we are time of flight, we can set uh, a start and end range. So if we want to detect this specific uh, window, we can do that as well. Uh, yes. Did I miss anything? Yeah, I mean, you also get more data. So you can see, for yeah. example, the distance to a person and, and also how people are moving if they are passing the by. The direction, you can get the direction closer. as well. Correct. Yes. Yes. 
I mean, so you've just given a pretty good overview of the advantages and the use cases. What is the most common product that your customers launch? Yeah, I think it's, um, I mean, it's a big uh, variety of, of applications, but, but basically it started with IoT applications. Uh, quite a lot of battery driven devices because it's low power. Um, for example, sensors are used in the parking lot to detect if a car is there, so parking sensors. Uh, we mentioned uh, level sensing, that's it's very commonly and also growing market. Uh, and now we also see in automotive, it's used inside the cabin to detect people. So in cabin detection is, is a fast growing market for us as well. And following on from that, do you have any customer references within the area of level sensing that you'd like to talk about? Uh, yeah, we have, uh, for example, industrial tanks. You mentioned IBC tanks. Yes. Uh, we have companies like uh, Packwise. We have uh, companies looking into gas and oil, uh, Magnus monitors, uh, Levelcon in in US. Uh, and we also have companies working with sewer system, where they put the sensor in, in manholes and detect the level of, of water. Companies like Metasware, for example. And what about uh, detection? Any customer references for that? For, for people detection. Yeah, there we have uh, we have customers um, using the sensor in, in public places, in, in bathrooms. Um, we have, of course, the, the car industry I mentioned in cabin detection. Public references there is uh, Volvo cars. Uh, we'll use that in the, in the coming flagship model uh, for in cabin detection, also Polestar. But what, what, what use case do you guys find? find, find let, me get, let me get my words out. What use case do you guys find the most exciting? Uh, use cases of most interesting or uh, from a technology perspective, uh, I would say based on machine learning, um, it's very interesting. Uh, we can do material identification, for example, uh, robotics, uh, lawn mover, uh, identify uh, grass, no grass is one thing. Uh, gesture recognition, foot movement uh, uh, recognition, uh, for example, based on uh, machine learning. That is. Uh, Quite interesting. Pretty cool. Pretty the, cool. But also the vital sign, I think. Yeah, it's and vital nice. sign, breathing, uh, and the heart, uh, monitoring heartbeats, also very interesting. I think pretty cool sums it up, yeah, right? Yep. Yes. <laughs> right. So we've, we've spoken about the solutions you currently offer, but what's the next big thing that's coming from Akinet? And uh, that is what we call A2. Uh, it will be, uh, uh, it's also a, a PCR, a pulse current radar, uh, working on 60, uh, 57 to 64 gigahertz in unlicensed band. Uh, here we go for multi-channel. So we will have multi-channel support and that will enable us uh, angle resolution. So we will get angle resolution. Uh, and that will, uh, yeah, that, Use cases like people counting, uh, tracking, uh, these kind of use cases will be of most interest for, for this kind of product, I would say. Well, I look forward to it when it comes. To finish this off, could you tell us about your partnership with DigiKey and what it means for your customers? Yeah, absolutely. We, we uh, started quite early with DigiKey and it's been a, a great enabler for technology. It's been a excellent way to spread our technology and make it available globally. Well, thank you both for being here. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.